अच्छा ना मैथ्स स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ठीक है यहाँ पे इसके नोट्स होंगे सारी डिटेल में करते हैं जस्ट सेकेंड जस्ट लेट मी फाइंड इट क्विकली नॉट क्रोमेटोग्राफी हम्म ठीक है चलो क्विकली व्हाट इज एक तो इनफेक्ट स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी विल डू दैट वो बाद में कर लेते हैं मैथ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ठीक है लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अच्छा लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मैथ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी तो मैथ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी में था कि यू हैड इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चंस बहुत छोटे आएंगे ठीक है सो दे गोन बी वेरी वेरी सिंपल द कॉन्सेप्ट इज सिंपली दैट यू टेक अ मॉलिक्यूल एनी मॉलिक्यूल एंड यू बम्बार with the electrons ठीक है सो देर अ दे इज अ बीम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट विल हिट दिस मॉलिक्यूल ठीक है सो देर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कमिंग इन देर एक्चुअली मल्टीपल वेज ऑफ आइनाइजिंग अ मॉलिक्यूल नॉट जस्ट दिस वन देर आर वेज ऑफ डूइंग दैट इज वेल लेकिन एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वॉट हैपन इज इट टर्न इन टू एन आई एन तो आपका जो सी एस टी सी एल है ना दैट टर्न इन टू अ सी एस टी सी एल पॉजिटिव आई एन इट को टर्न इन टू एनी टाइप ऑफ आई एन लेकिन हमारा जो फोकस है ना दैट्स वी जस्ट वी जस्ट Interested in plus one ions. वो जो बाकी ions हैं ना, we just reject them. I said that's known as a molecular ion because the whole molecule is intact. That's known as the M. ठीक है, that's known as the molecular ion referred to as M. और फिर ये भी होता है कि the molecule could break down into small pieces and turn into smaller ions. ठीक है, smaller ions which are positively charged. So CH three plus one बन सकता है, CH two plus one can be formed. Any small fragment of this bigger molecule that could be a an ion as well. Those are known as fragments. Fragments are lighter. जो आपका molecular ion है, that's heavier. ठीक है? तो fragments जो होते हैं ना, they're always क्योंकि छोटे होते हैं, so they're always light. The molecular ion is the one that's heavy because that's a big one. Uh, so these particles are then deflected through a through a magnetic field, and deflection is inversely proportional to mass. The heavier it is, the less deflected it's going to be. and the lighter it is the more deflection that's going to happen theek hai so the so ye jo particles ki mass hai na you basically measure it using deflection relative mass is measured in this way so the heavier the particle the less it's going to deflect and the lighter the particle the more it's going to deflect so molecular ions are the ones ye jo big ones m wale theek hai molecular ions are the ones that are heavy so they're not going to get deflected that much fragments are lighter they're going to get deflected a bit more अच्छा फोकसिंग ऑन द मोलिकल आइन सी एस टी सी एल प्लस वन ये दो टाइप्स के होंगे ठीक है वाई वुड दे बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट सी एस टी सी एल डज नॉट हैव वन मैथ वाई डज इट नॉट हैव वन मैथ बिकॉज ये जो आपका सी एल है ना इट्स गॉट टू आइसोटोप्स सी एल कुड बी थर्टी फाइव और योर सी एल कुड बी थर्टी सेवन विच इज वाई योर मोलिकल आइन कैन हैव टू डिफरेंट मैथस कार्बन ट्वेल्व होता है मोस्ट ऑफ द कार्बन इज ट्वेल्व ठीक है most of the hydrogen is also 12 baki ke isotopes pe the reason we are not interested in other isotopes is ki agar main google karu na ke let's say i just a second acha so let's say i google uh, hydrogen isotopes theek hai so kya hai wikipedia ha isotopes of hydrogen So, reason we are not interested in other isotopes or at uh, isotopes of other elements apart from CLS, के उनके isotopes exist नहीं करते, almost non-existent. ठीक है, for example, if you look at hydrogen as isotope, ninety nine point nine eight five five percent of all hydrogen on planet Earth or probably in the universe, मेरे ख्याल से ये planet Earth की बात हो रही है. So that's mainly hydrogen one. So the other isotopes trace का मतलब it's like it's it's almost non-existent. ठीक है, so the other isotopes are not Are not found in large quantities. So, is it because the other isotopes are never found? So, you basically don't even consider them. 
कि उनकी वजह से ना मैथ्स चेंज होगा तो अगर वापस आए तो उस पर तो आइडिया ये कि अच्छा सो द आइडिया इज कि वी इन इंटरेस्टेड इन सी एल्स आइसोटोप्स बिकॉज सी एल्स आइसोटोप्स आर अबर्डेंट दी अदर आइटम्स वी जस्ट इग्नोर काबर इज मोस्टली ट्वेल्व हाइड्रोजन इज मोस्टली वन तो दैट्स फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन प्लस थर्टी सेवन कितना हो गया दैट्स फिफ्टी टू सो दिस वन हैज अ मैथ ऑफ फिफ्टी टू दिस वन हैज अ मैथ ऑफ फिफ्टी कार्बन ट्वेल्व हाइड्रोजन वन और सी एल थर्टी फाइव हो गया ठीक है सो दैट्स अ मैथ ऑफ फिफ्टी तो सी एल की जो बंडन सर दैट्स थर्टी सेवन के चांसेस दैट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट थर्टी फाइव के चांसेस दैट्स सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो दैट मीन्स योर मोलिकुलर आइन इज गोइंग टू यू गोइंग टू डिटेक्ट टू थिंग्स यू गोइंग टू डिटेक्ट समथिंग एट अ मैथ ऑफ फिफ्टी एंड यू गोइंग टू डिटेक्ट समथिंग हैविंग अ मैथ ऑफ फिफ्टी टू जो फिफ्टी वाला ना दैट्स गोइंग टू हैव थ्री टाइम्स अ हायर प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ डिटेक्शन कंपेयर टू द वन एट फिफ्टी टू तो इनका जो रेशो होगा दैट्स गोइंग टू बी थ्री रेशो It's going to be three ratio one. So, ये बात clear है? Yes, sir. So, so the idea is your mass spectrum will detect a lot of different masses. ठीक है ये जो this axis over here is your mass axis. M over E is mass to charge ratio. So you'll you'll detect a lot of small tiny fragments. You'll detect molecular ions, different types of molecular ions having different masses. ठीक है अगर एक CL होगा ना, the rule is if one CL is present. By looking at the mass spectrum, you can figure out that there is one CL present because there's going to be a molecular end peak. There are going to be two molecular end peaks, which are going to have a difference of two. Fifty will be the fifty-two will be. Okay, because CL thirty-five will be, so CL could be thirty-seven as well. So one is referred to as the M, the other one is referred to as the M plus two. Or in the between, the ratio will be that's going to be three ratio one. So short summary is that whenever there is, <coughs> whenever there is one CL present. Your mass spectrometry is going to give you two m m plus two peaks having a ratio of three ratio one. That's it. ठीक है ये इस बारे इसके बारे में ना no one is going to ask you anything. And similarly, they might ask you about uh, uh, bromine के तरह. As a similarly bromine का मैं कर लेता हूँ. Similarly, your molecule might have one bromine as well. So let's say you've got CH three Br. अच्छा सो इसका जो इट्स अगेन इट्स इट्स गोइंग टू टर्न इनटू इट्स गोइंग टू बी टर्न इनटू अ बीम ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल्स नाउ अच्छा इसके अंदर भी वो इश्यू होगा कि यू गोइंग टू हैव अ मॉलिक्यूल एंड सी एस टी बी आर प्लस वन व्हेन यू आइनाइज इट और यू माइट हैव लॉट्स ऑफ टाइनी फ्रैगमेंट्स लाइक सी एस टी प्लस वन बी आर प्लस वन माइट ब्रेक ऑफ आइनाइजेशन चेम्बर में सी एस टू प्लस वन मे बी दिस सी एच प्लस वन एक्सेट्रा राइट so lots of tiny fragments and here's your acha here's your molecular ion acha is sare mein uh, same thing will happen these particles are going to get deflected and uh, they're going to get deflected in the magnetic field the heavy ones are not going to be that deflected but the light ones would be deflected more in the magnetic field so now the same thing happens over here okay you've got um, two molecular ions one is going to be your ch3 br as a one of them is going to be your cst br plus 1 or a cos cst br plus 1 as so again why why would you have as <coughs> so why would you have two deflections uh kyunki br ke naam do isotopes and one is uh, 79 one is the heavier one which is 81 the other one is the lighter one which is 79 so br has two different masses तो क्या बना 15 प्लस 81 व्हाट इज दैट इट्स क्या मास बनेगी इट्स गोइंग टू बी 96 96 यस सर तो हेवी वाला जो है दैट्स 96 एंड द अदर वन इज 79 प्लस 15 सो दैट्स 94 राइट यस सर अच्छा तो एक को आपको हो गया दैट्स योर एम द अदर वन इज रेफर्ड टू एज योर एम प्लस 2 क्यों टू का डिफरेंस राइट अब बियर के केस में ना द चांसेस ऑफ गेटिंग सेवेंटी नाइन एंड एटी वन दैट्स देर इज एन इक्वल प्रॉबिलिटी देर इज अ फिफ्टी परसेंट चांस दैट यू गेट दिस 
and there's a 50 percent probability of getting this you need to do mass spectroscopy so what will happen is that both particles the heavier one and the lighter one you're going to detect both of them and both of them will have equal probability okay you'll you'll detect lots of tiny fragments as well so lots of uh, fragments will be detected um actually your your graph would kind of um so your graph would kind of look like this that uh, I see you'll detect NM, the mass, mass X, X is a, so you're going to detect something at 94 and you're going to detect something at 96 as well. Like in no the chances are that's the same. So if you detect 20 particles of uh, having a mass of 94, though at the same time, you'll also detect a, uh, 20 particles having a mass of 96 as well. So equal probability, okay, that's going to be score one ratio one or 50% ratio 50%. That's basically one ratio one. Up here, you'll, you'll also, so this is your percentage abundance on this side. That's a percentage abundance on this side. Okay, anyways, you're going to detect a lot of uh, small things like 15 people. You might detect uh, CST plus one fragments. So fragments, lots of fragments, right? <coughs> you might detect something at 79, uh, which is going to be your BR plus one fragment, right? So you'll be detecting lots of smaller stuff. One second. I said, so... So lots of smaller stuff. These fragments from bad mein aayenge kiska fayda kya? Kuch yahan pe direct aur hoga, theek hai. So lots of random fragments. So you're detecting random fragments. Uh, this is your M and this is your M plus two. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Basic idea, yeah, basic idea. That's it. If a molecule has one CL, that means you're going to detect an M, M plus two. Your mass is different also, because if, if the molecule is bigger in size, the mass will be bigger, but there's going to be a difference of two. It's a chloropropane, so ski mass is different. Like in chloropropane, may, there's going to be two versions, one with 35, one with 37. So M, M plus two. The ratio would always be three ratio one. Same with bromine. You got uh, same with bromine, which is uh, if you've got one bromine, so the molecule will have two different masses, mm plus two, and it's going to have equal probability. TK, you part clear? Yes, sir. Asab, ye do bromines or do chlorines wala bhi hai. Lekin wo probably of course mein nahi hai. Just to be on the safe side, we can do that because you just have to remember a simple thing, which is so I, I'm just going to do this anyways. Okay. Syllabus when you like how So, so we're going to just talk about this quickly. So a molecule can have two CLs as well. So, so when you have two CLs again, you'll have a molecular ion. Okay. That's your, so that's, I said, that's your molecular ion. Now, um, I said, yes, got two seals. Wala. Was I? Oh. I said, molecular and molecular and uh, two seals. With, uh, now, with two seals, what's going to happen? The molecular and is going to have three different masses. Because uh, both seals, you don't have a CH2 CL2. It can have three different masses. What can happen is that it can have uh, uh, both the seals could be 35. 
तो सी एच टू फोर्टीन प्लस थर्टी फाइव प्लस थर्टी फाइव कार्बन ट्वेल्व प्लस टू एच एस प्लस थर्टी फाइव प्लस थर्टी फाइव दैट्स एटी फोर सो दैट्स योर लाइटर वर्जन ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल आइन यू कैन हैव अ हेवियर वन के वन ऑफ द सी एल्स इज थर्टी सेवन सो इफ वन ऑफ द सी एल्स इज थर्टी सेवन दैट्स कॉन्ट बी एटी सिक्स और यू कैन हैव बोथ सी एल्स इज थर्टी सेवन एज वेल एंड दैट वुड मेक इट version. So it's going to be deflected slightly lesser, and then there's going to be a very heavy one, which is that both seals could be 37, so the mass would be 88. So, which is why you're going to get m m plus two and m plus four deflections for the same molecular ion. Is this clear? Yes, sir. So probability k, probability a. What's the chance of getting both of those seals as 35? 35 आने के चांसेस क्या थे? Three by four, 75 percent. So both CS thirty five that's three by four times three by four that's going to be nine by sixteen. Okay, so the probability of getting eighty four that's nine by sixteen. What is the probability of getting eighty eight? That's both of them thirty seven. Okay, thirty seven. I think the chances get are twenty five percent. So basic probability that is that uh, if you want both CS to be thirty seven that's one by four times one by four that's going to be one by sixteen. Or baki one by six subtract kalo you'll get the probability of this one which is six by sixteen. But I'm. Nine by sixteen, yeah, okay. One out of sixteen is this, so you're left with six by sixteen. So the basic idea is that now your probabilities or your chances of detections are going to be distributed this way. Okay, m m plus two m plus four, and the ratio would be nine ratio six ratio one. Is this clear? Yes, sir. So if you have a aapko nahi pata ki kya molecule hai. If you see only this thing and you see that The highest or the heaviest peaks have a ratio of nine, ratio six, ratio one. That uh, that is a sign that you've got two CLs. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Or you can have bromine to be extend. Can you do? Um, you could have two bromines as well. So, I mean, if I bromine to extend, then it's it's going to be the same thing. So, we can just see that. मतलब एक कर लेते हैं कि लेट्स हैव अ मॉलिक्यूल दैट्स कॉट टू ब्रोमीन्स सो द मॉलिक्यूलर आयन विल हैव लेट्स से दिस इज माय मॉलिक्यूलर आयन व्हेन इट गेट्स डिफ्लेक्टेड अच्छा व्हेन इट्स गोइंग टू गेट डिफ्लेक्टेड यू गोइंग टू हैव थ्री डिफरेंट डिफ्लेक्शंस Asa why three? Because uh, you could have both bromines as the eighty-one one. That's your heaviest. You could have both of them could be one of them could be seventy-nine. The other one could be eighty-one. Is must not say three gets a draw. I know. और एक तीसरा होगा विच इज दैट वन ऑफ द ब्रोमीन्स बोथ ब्रोमीन्स कुड बी सेवेंटी नाइन ठीक है तो चांसेस वही है व्हाट्स द चांस ऑफ गेटिंग बोथ ऑफ देम सेवेंटी नाइन दैट्स फिफ्टी परसेंट टाइम्स फिफ्टी परसेंट राइट सो दैट्स वन बाय फोर What are the chances of getting both of them as eighty one? That's uh, one by two chance of getting eighty one. The other one is also one by two, so that's uh, one by four. So if this one will go up, subtract it. One by six, so that's going to be two by four. The rest of probabilities are coming. So it's uh, what's so so the chances of getting m m plus two m plus four 
but this is your m that's your m plus two and that's your m plus four so in case your chances are that's one ratio two ratio one right so each is up the other thing you just use a molecule minute there's one bromine so that's one ratio one mm plus two if it's got two bromines that's one ratio two ratio one right or CL ke like ke, if there's two CL, though, that's nine ratio, six ratio, one. If there's one CL, though, MM plus two, and it's going to have a three ratio, one. Is this clear? Yes, sir. You will kind of bromine ke saath hi na, main wo uski bhi add kar dato. Jo basic idea, that's uh, MM plus two. So three ratio, one. So that would indicate that you got one CL. And if you have an M, M plus two, and also an M plus four, having a ratio of nine, ratio six, ratio one, so that indicates that you got two CLs. So this is that's your that's a short summary. Okay. Or remember, it's been a year of syllabus many M plus two M plus four is not in your syllabus. Uh, it used to be you've got questions on this, but maybe shayad wo push it's all way get okay. syllabus 2022 may change. Wata. So just to be on the safe side, just remember that. Okay, okay sir. So, per, another thing is you can figure out the number of carbon atoms. Uh, by looking at a mass spectrum. Why? Because carbon also has a small amount of tiny isotope, TK. Most of it is carbon 12, 99% or 98.9% .9 is carbon 12. One person chance of carbon 13. Okay. So if I if I have a CH4 molecule and I do mass spectroscopy, what's going to happen is that CH4 has a mass of 16. Most of the time it's going to have a mass of 16. There's a small 1% chance of carbon 13, carbon could be 13. So it's going to have a mass of 17 in that case. So you've got an M and you've got an M plus one now, okay? So 12 aneke chances ke 99%, 1, uh, 13 aneke chances ke, that's 1%. So your ratio of M, M plus one height is going to be what? It's going to be, it's going to be 99 ratio. 99% chances, yeah, 1% is this. Is this clear? Yes, sir. I said, but then, I said, but then you could have, a, you could have a molecule that's got two carbons. So if you've got a molecule that's got two carbons, just say ethane, okay? any molecule that's got two carbons, ethane. Now, in the case of ethane, what can happen is that you can have uh, both carbons as 12 and six hydrogens. So that's 30, right? So 30 is what you have, okay? Or, so it's going to have a mass of 30 in that case. But it can also have a mass of 31 as well. Why? Because uh, one of the carbons could be 30. Both carbons could be 30. So it could have a mass of 32 as well. Is that clear? So M, M plus 1, M plus 2 peaks. You're getting that. So yes, sir. Dono 12 are chances. Both of the carbons are 12. So both carbons are 12 will have a probability of 99% times 99%. So it's 0.99 probability times 0.99. Yani it's 99% of 99%. So that basically gives you what? 98%. Yani ab M aane ke chances ke, that's uh, 98%. Is that clear that both carbons being carbon 12 has a probability yahan pe main calculate karke dikha bhi deta hu so you got carbon 12 and carbon 12 so that's uh 99% of 99% and that's basically equal to 98%. Is this clear? Yes, sir. 
तो अब जैसे जैसे ना कार्बन इंक्रीज करते जाएंगे द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग दी एम पी विल स्लाइटली डिक्रीज इट वॉज नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट इनिशली नाउ इट्स नाइनटी एट परसेंट और एम प्लस टू में इंटरेस्टेड नहीं है एम प्लस टू विल हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल प्रॉबिलिटी बिकॉज बोथ थर्टीन साइड कार्बन थर्टीन एंड and carbon 13 both of them are carbon 13 that's 1% chance into 1% chance right to calculate it chala gaya as a 1% 1% is uh, agar percentage se niklo bhai to kya hota hai 0.01 yes sir it's 1 to the power minus 4 so approximately 0% ho gaya right yes sir this ka matlab we're not interested in the m plus 2 peak it's we let us stick to m plus 1 तो बाकी फिर प्रोबेबिलिटी का टू परसेंट रहेगी वो इट्स गोइंग टू बी दिस वन राइट दैट वन इज ट्वेल्व एंड द अदर वन इज वन ऑफ देम इज ट्वेल्व यानी नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट पॉइंट नाइन नाइन एंड द अदर वन इज थर्टीन दैट्स वन परसेंट सो दैट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन ये कितना है दैट्स अप्रोक्सिमेटली वन परसेंट राइट बट टाइम्स टू टाइम्स टू इसलिए क्योंकि देर टू सिनारियोज आई द फर्स्ट वन इज कार्बन ट्वेल्व दोबारा परसेंट में कन्वर्ट करो तो इन टू हंड्रेड करो तो दैट्स अप्रोक्सिमेटली टू परसेंट अच्छा वाई डेट मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू बिकॉज वन ऑफ दिस ट्वेल्व दर वन इज थर्टीन राइट तो दे टू सिनारियो आई दे द फर्स्ट वन इज ट्वेल्व एंड द सेकेंड वन इज थर्टीन और द फर्स्ट वन इज थर्टीन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज ट्वेल्व तो इसलिए वो टाइम्स टू हो जाता है ठीक है बट इग्नोर प्रॉबिलिटी फॉर नाउ जस्ट द बेसिक आइडिया दैट वॉट्स हैपनिंग इज You had one carbon. The probability ratio was ninety-nine chances of getting this one, one percent chance of getting this one. When you had two carbons, ninety-eight chances, ninety-eight percent chance of getting this one, two percent. So this drops. M plus one increases. Okay. You three carbons can be carried out. Three carbons. What will happen if a molecule has three carbons? All of them as carbon twelve. What's the chance of getting all of them as carbon twelve? That's zero point nine nine times zero point nine nine. Times zero point nine nine, ठीक है? तो वो ninety seven percent बन रहा है, ठीक है? तो इस इस आइडिया clear that as the number of carbon atoms keep on increasing, तो um, the height of the M peak starts to decrease. Is this clear? Yes, sir. So the height of the M peak decreases, and the height of the M plus one starts to increase. तो उसके रेशो से ना यू एबल टू फिगर आउट द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन आइटम सो दर्ज अ सिंपल फॉर्मुला फॉर दैट इफ दे गिव यू द हाइट ऑफ द एम प्लस वन इफ यू गिव यू गिव द हाइट ऑफ द एम पी एज वेल तो उनका रेशो निकालो एंड जस्ट यू फाइन फाइन आउट यू कैन फिगर आउट द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन आइटम ठीक है यानी अगर नाइनटी एट रेशो टू दिया मैंने जस्ट प्लग इट इन सो फाइन आउट वॉट दिस इज हंड्रेड ओवर वन पॉइंट वन एम प्लस वन ओवर हेयर इज टू और नीचे क्या दैट्स एम इज नाइनटी एट तो ये अप्रोक्सिमेटली कितना बन रहा है हाउ मेनी कार्बन वन पॉइंट एट फाइव अप्रोक्स टू ठीक है सो दैट्स अप्रोक्सिमेटली टू ठीक है तो बस इस फॉर्मूला से ना यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन आइटम सही तो ये अब इसके क्वेश्चन अच्छा इसके क्वेश्चन जो होंगे ना दे कैन बी क्वाइट स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड ठीक है नथिंग वो मैं दिखा देता हूँ क्वेश्चन के पहले तो फ्रेगमेंटेशन में मैं आता हूँ पहले थोड़े बेसिक क्वेश्चंस कहेंगे ए टू में मिलेंगे वैसे ए एस में यू डोंट रियली हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ओनली द लास्ट क्वेश्चंस मोस्टली द सॉफ्टवेयर दिस वर रिलेटेड टू एन एम आर किस पे व्हेन आई वाज डूइंग द क्वेश्चंस फॉर दिस मोस्टली वर रिलेटेड टू एन एम आर एन एम आर तो ए टू हां दैट्स व्हाट इट इज मतलब वो उसी के अंदर ना वो वो भी दिखा देता हूँ कि लेटेस्ट पेपर्स हैं विंटर के अंदर इट्स यू गेट क्वेश्चंस इन समर 2022 यू गेट यू गेट गेट क्वेश्चंस इन दिस बल्कि लेटेस्ट वाले भी दिखा देता हूँ ठीक है लेट्स डू द लेटेस्ट वंस फर्स्ट जस्ट वन सेकंड जस्ट समर 22 एंड विंटर 22 ठीक है दैट्स ओनली वन प्लेस वे यू बल्कि भी मार्च 23 भी ना वी उसके जो लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चंस है वेरी सिंपल ठीक है जस्ट एक दो मार्क के क्वेश्चंस होंगे जस्ट वन सेकंड मार्च के अंदर इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी द समर That's where the syllabus changes. Okay, so <coughs> okay. 
as a mass spectroscopy. One second. As a uh, fragmentation, this one, oh, this one. Um, so you, you're seeing, as a, so there's a question, they've linked it up, up with this one, but look at this part. You're getting a peak. This is your M. What is this one? This is your M plus one. And this is your M plus two. M plus two. The parallel of M, M plus two is your ratio. Ban rather. What's the MM plus two ratio? 100 over 133.23. That's approximately three ratio one. That's exactly three ratio one, right? Yes, sir. This is what it if it's three ratio one. Three ratio one is CL. And one CL, right? This is the molecule has one CL, right? As a pair, you're given the MM plus one ratio as well. So what formulas use color, you can find the number of carbon atoms. Uh, so it's 100 over 1.1 times M plus one, which in this case is uh, 2.2 uh, divided by M, which in this case is what, uh, 100? So it's like 2.2 divided by 100 times, uh, I say 100 into the Vesey cancel out again. It's coming out to be exactly two, right? So you got yes, two sir. carbons. TK, is this clear? Yes, sir. So, um, so that's one thing. Patan Yusekha is Z contains three types of atoms. Carbon, the mass spectrum of Z is recorded. So you got one CL. We figured that out. Uh, did you use your, the number of carbon atoms? So we did that. TK, show you're working. Did you use which halogen is present? CL. If it the same ratio, it would have been MM plus, would have been, it would have been one BR, right? Yes, sir. So same way. Fragmentation, we have not Fragmentation, I have to explain. This question is clear. It's the same question. I guess it's not a complicated question. Okay. Yes, I got it. So, it's a small part of the MM plus 2 ratio, 3 ratio 1, 1 ratio 1 is bromine. MM plus 1 ratio, you can find the number of carbon atoms, right? As a fragmentation, I quickly explain. The fragmentation is. The fragmentation part. Fragmentation is key your fragmentation pretty much it's not really important. Fragmentation is cost, but like that. Like in fragmentation, basically, is that when you do mass spectroscopy, the molecule might break down into pieces and you, you're going to detect smaller masses. So, when you thought it's pure key, the molecular in Oga, that's going to be CH3, CH, CH2. So, what's the molecular in that's uh, CH3, CH6, right? So your yes, so your so your M is C three eight six plus one plus one Amesha Dalna because that's the particle Amesha write the charge when they say okay, what is being detected to so write the charge on it right so you got C eight six plus one right so ab isme ye hoga ke so you're getting C three eight six plus <laughs> ab isme ye kya mass is C three eight six plus that's uh, 36 plus uh, 42. 78. 78 42. Yeah, 48. 42. As I said, 42. As a CT86 plus 42. So CT86 plus is 42. Now, uh, what do you do with that? Okay. Or M plus one be over there might be isotopes of carbon. CL to any, so there's not going to be any M plus two. I said now what, how would mass spectrum help you? Fragmentation, sorry. So C three H six could be either this one, because mass spectroscopy na apko ye tha, wo apko mass bata hai. It does not tell you which particular isotope you've got, oh, sorry, isomer you, you've got. C three H six could be a cycloalkane, it could be an alkene as well. Okay? Both of them could be CC86. Mass spectroscopy does not tell you 
कि भाई वो एटम्स किस तरह अरेंज हैं ठीक है इट डजेंट टेल यू एनी थिंग अबाउट दैट इट जस्ट गिव्स यू अ मास ठीक है तो यू इफ यू डिटेक्टिंग सी थ्री एच एक्स प्लस वन फोर्टी टू लेट से यू गेस्ट के बी सी थ्री एच एक्स है तो यू माइट थिंक दैट मे बी यू गॉट दिस थिंग और मे बी यू हैव दिस थिंग एक से मैं कॉल अटेंड कर लूँ अच्छा सॉरी से बात आ रही है अच्छा इसको कर लेते हैं कि क्या मैं कह रहा था कि मैं कह रहा था कि सी थ्री एच सिक्स यू डिटेक्टेड दिस यू मैथ स्पेट्रोस्कोपी आपको सिर्फ व्हाट इट ओनली टेल्स यू इज कि यू डिटेक्टेड समथिंग दैट्स कॉल्ड अ मैस ऑफ फोर्टी टू and you might figure out the number of carbon atoms theek okay? hai based on the mm plus 1 ratio so you'll you'll probably figure out kit c3h6 but you have no idea whether the, it's this c3h6 or whether whether it's this c3h6 mass spectroscopy does not give give you that information theek hai ye clear hai na ke ye clear hai ke hum kahan tak pahunche theek hai is this clear yes sir acha but the fragmentation pattern might be helpful in finding out ke bhi is it this c3h6 or is it that c3h6 Because what happens is, the fragmentation pattern detects the smaller pieces that might get broken down. It might get broken down into small pieces. So, so fragmentation may happen. That you might detect a fragment of CST plus one over here, right? So, if you have this molecule, then you might detect a CST plus one fragment. In the fifteen K opener, you might get a detection. But in this other molecule, there's no CST plus one fragment possible. Is that clear? Yes, sir. वो बन ही नहीं सकता CST plus one इधर ठीक है उसका अगर वो टूटेगा ना if it's got if it breaks into a smaller piece, so it's never going to form a CST plus one fragment, right? It might form a CH two plus one fragment, which is fourteen, but you won't get anything detected at fifteen. ठीक है तो उससे आपको आइडिया हो जाएगा कि भाई यू इफ यू आर डिटेक्टिंग फ्रैगमेंट एट फिफ्टीन तो दैट मींस इट मस्ट बी दिस वन इफ यू आर नॉट डिटेक्टिंग एनी फ्रैगमेंट एट फिफ्टीन देन इट मस्ट बी दिस अदर वन ठीक है इज दिस क्लियर यस सर फिर एक और एग्जांपल है कि लेट्स से आई हैव गॉट अ मॉलिक्यूल व्हिच इज सी3h6o+1 ठीक है दैट्स डिटेक्टेड सो इट कुड बी एन एल्डिहाइड इट कुड बी अ कीटोन तो फ्रैगमेंटेशन पैटर्न वुड बी हेल्पफुल क्योंकि यहां पे ना व्हाट यू विल डिटेक्ट इज 15 तो दोनों में आएगा सीएसटी फ्रैगमेंट इज पॉसिबल ओवर हियर सीएसटी फ्रैगमेंट इज आल्सो पॉसिबल ओवर हियर तो 15 तो दोनों के अंदर डिटेक्ट होगा बट 29 कैन ओनली बी डिटेक्टेड इन दिस वन मतलब कोई भी ऐसा फ्रैगमेंट या स्मॉलर पीस ऑफ दिस बिगर मॉलिक्यूल इज नॉट पॉसिबल दैट इट हैज अ मास ऑफ 29 इज दैट क्लियर यस सर बल्कि उसकी जो मास होगी ना वो प्रॉब्ली क्या हो गया फिफ्टीन प्लस कार्बन ट्वेल्व दैट्स व्हाट ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस सिक्सटीन कितना हो गया
43? Either 43 nahi ban raha is side pe. I don't think there's any any 43 possible on this side. So you might detect something having a mass of but let's go break it down in any way it's not going to form 43. Mikhail say they to say it's why it is actually forming 43. 43 wala dono mein ho sakta. 43 hoga kyunki I mean this CH2 and this thing uh, that is 43. Is that clear? Yes sir. So 43 ko ignore kro 43 to dono mein hai. That's not a differentiating aspect. So is this clear ke fragmentation thoda bahut you can give get an idea of what the structure looks like right? Okay, sir. Here, what can also happen is that you can. Uh, what can also happen is, okay, <clears throat> by looking at the smaller pieces, you can actually figure out what the bigger molecule is. This, uh, if you're detecting something at fourteen, that must be the n atom. Sixteen might be an oxygen atom. Twenty-eight might be n two plus one. Thirty might be n o plus one. So putting them all together, the big molecule forty-four, the molecular ion, that's probably going to be n two o plus one forty-four. TK. Okay? Um, so it's questions we asked in this paper, but it's mass spectroscopy, that's it. This kind of, there was a question on fragmentation as well, that they were saying there also peaks at 29 and 49. So he's asking you to figure out what these fragments are, right? So what have you figured out? You figured out that it's got uh, how many carbons? It's got uh, two carbons, right? Yes, sir. I say it's got you got two carbons and you got one CL, right? Yes, sir. Or is key MP care that's 64, right? So I need two carbons, one CL, and 64. Either two carbons, one CL. Let's go 35 lane as particular. Okay? You 37 logan, you'll you'll get 66 M plus two, right? So, 35 plus 12 plus 12 plus 5 hydrogens. Is that 64? Yes, sir. 64. Okay, so that's 64. Now, let's figure out what, what is the... I mean, we figured out name Z. That's chloroethane, right? So, 29 kya hoga? 29 fragment. 29 fragment would be... Uh, ye wala? CST is 29. I'm going to take this is 29, right? 15 plus 12. It's not 29, right? No, sir. It's 37. Three, uh, three, it is 29. 24 plus 5, that's 29. Fifteen plus 14. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was just seeing four hydrogen. Yes, sir. It's 29. What's the other one? What is 49? 49 would probably include the CL and maybe it might be this fragment. 14 plus 35, that's 49, right? Yes, sir. So, if you look at the CH2, CL wala jo fragment, na, CH2, CL, sorry, not over here. So, if you look at the CH2, CL plus one wala fragment, that's 49. 29 is uh, CST. CH2. Make sure you add a positive charge. And this is what? Chloro? Ethan. So, let's get all the questions. Kar lete hai, ek second. Jitne me abhi tak aya na. Bas last year me aya me. Ek second. Ye kaun sa kya This was, I think, 23. Yes, sir. Major raising. I'll you the marking scheme. It's my um. the same one. He's saying um, 
deduce the molecular formula of Z. So, let's start with Z start Z is, uh, he's saying uh, the first part, the persistence per mass empirical formula. So, you, you're able to figure out, ke bhi, oh, so, proof ka na, sorry. so that's already given. So, Z is basically the empirical formula is C1H1O1, right? So, I guess you can you can figure that out. It's called, karo, karo, find out the empirical formula, you'll, you'll be able to figure this out. I said, so, Abda, what, what is the molecular formula of Z? That's, uh, what is the MR? That's 116. Each one of the heaviest mass are, you know, that's 116. That's a molecular ion. Is that clear? Or was 117 and I was carbon 13 isotope. So that's your M plus one. So M is the lightest isotopes. And then M plus one, M plus two with, with the heavy isotopes. So now okay, C1, H1, O1, right? So the molecular formula is 116. The MR is 116. So that's 29, I think. CNO, that's 12 plus 16, that's 28, 29. I think into four on a hold on to you. 216 month. Yes, it's into four. So it's come out the actual formula is actually C4H404, right? So Abu Seka suggests the formula of the fragments. You're detecting a fragment at Yehek. I was going to tell what is it? It's a is Z is it contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Uh, it's an alkene and it's got a carboxylic functional group. It reacts with bromine. Okay, so alkene plus a carboxylic acid. So banalo is called it's an it's an alkene C4H4O4. Sorry. Achha, so this one is an alkene plus a carboxylic acid. So which hot things are a straight chain? Hai, uh, so it's an alkene plus. I think it should be two carboxylic acids because you have four oxygens and there's an H and there's an H. I say C4H4O4 one, right? Okay. So, did he give us any other information? It contains this and that's it. Okay, that's it. It's got, it's an alkene, it's a carboxylic acid. Find out, okay, what is the mass 71 and 45? What is the mass at 45? 45 is going to be simple. It's uh, it's this thing. This is 45. COOH plus one. Calculate, it's going to come out to be 45. Is this clear? Yes, sir. 71, kya hoga? Um, I think we'll minus kar, manali, baki jo hai, that's 71, I think. Um, but you're 45, yes, right? Ah, so you're 71. Yes, 71. 116 total, right? So 116 minus 45, you're left at 71, right? So, so the second part, right? that's this one. It's carboxylic acid. Uh, CH double bond. Uh, carboxylic acid. Uh, carboxylic acid. 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 So, okay, 21, kya? 21, 21, kya let's say. That's a 21. Um, that's a 20, wait, for 21, may the C5 H10 O, T, K, um, so, shows the mass spectrum of C5H10O. So, <clears throat> 29 and 57. What is uh, it's Z. I said, he's saying, I said, he's saying that Z ke baare mein koi information usse pehle di thi? Nahin. There's information about W, X, and Y. There is information about V and there's an information how Z is something new. So you need question start or you get nothing to do with whatever is happening behind before this question. Two carrots a ketone, right? C5H10O. So there could be lots of ketones, C5H10O. There could be straight chain ketones, that's one. Uh, or chaos is there. It could be 
this one. You could have branched ketones with four carbon atoms in a row. You could have a double bond and you could have a branch also, right? Uh, it's for further branch seekers. I mean, that's at three ketones, right? I can't. I can't change the position of the branch because it would kind of be the same thing. I can't make the chain shorter because then I have no place to fit the two branches of carbon atoms. So to force a chota ni the chain ko. Is this clear? So that's those are your three ketones that are possible. See if I waste no. Is this clear? Yes, sir. So wo kare ke muskina. 29 per detection. 29 is probably going to be CS3. 29 is CS3, CS2, right? CS3 yes. and? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's... Oh, you mean the two H's, three H's. So that's 29. Um, and then you're detecting something at uh, 57. I think the rest is 57. Is it 57 or 57? But most likely A57 over. Yes, sir. This is the same thing, because these fragments are not possible. Uh, this s a cst cs 2 is not possible, because there is no cst cs 2 So, I mean, in this case, there is no cs 3 uh, CS3 is, but next door cs 2 is right? So you're probably not going to detect anything at 29 in, in this one, this one. Uh, here you'll detect 29, but you you won't detect uh, the other one. It's uh, it's been a dono mil sakta was in CS3. CS2, that could be detected, right? Uh, the yes. other one is also possible. If I have two fragments, this one, this is 29. So this is the other one. How is it possible? I will see this answer that identity of Z. This is not possible, this is definitely not possible. I will see if I have both of them accept or not. How we dependency on pendant two on both of them are acceptable, right? Is this clear? Yes, sir. So, but see the whole W twenty two or maybe they think they. I said again, uh, MM plus one, the what do you do? Uh, find the number of carbon atoms, right? So what is the formula? It's 100 over in ecology. This is 1.1 times uh, M plus one. That's uh, 3.15 divided by M 95.5. What value are you? 2.99. It's got three carbon atoms, right? Well, Bucky information can you also be okay. Uh -huh. Mass spectrum on a calm basita is question. The rest were all reactions. Uh, it's been a clear thing here. What's uh, where's uh, mass spectroscopy used? Uh, it's kind of huh. He says in this question, he says that the m plus two approximately equal abundance m m plus two have equal abundance. What does that mean? Uh, it's for me. So one of the eight bromine at he uh, That's it. So it's got one bromine. But baki or kuch bhi nahi mass spectroscopy se. Aza di pala phir. Aza isme ni to bhi question aage thik hai. Bas ek ab wo last dekh lete hain ki jo latest hai na.
कहाँ पे पड़ा हुआ कहीं ना कहीं पड़ा हुआ था एक सेकंड का डाउनलोड अच्छा लेटेस्ट वन ये है अटीनेंस मार्च ट्वेंटी थ्री अच्छा इसके अंदर इन द मैथ पेट्रो द रेट ऑफ बंडेंस ऑफ द मोलिकुलर एंड पीक इज थ्री पॉइंट फोर तो वो ये कह रहे कि एम एम प्लस टू का ना सो द एम पीक इज गिवन ठीक है एम इज गिवन वो कह रहे हैं कि एम प्लस टू की ना बटन फिगर आउट करो ठीक है सो वी डोंट नो वेदर इट्स कॉट वन सी एल वन बी आर ठीक है वो जाके देख लेते हैं और इज देर हेलोजन समय किसकी बात कर रहा था डी की सो फाइंड आउट वॉट डी एस डी एज वेज डी अच्छा डी ए ब्रोमीन है तो आप बताओ कि वो एम एम प्लस टू क्या होगा रेशियो रेशियो मतलब दैट इज़ आल्सो बी ठीक है और यहाँ पे सिर्फ ये पार्ट आया कि थ्री पॉइंट फोर है तो एम प्लस टू वो आल्सो बी थ्री पॉइंट फोर मतलब रिलेटिव बंडल्स वुड बी एक्सैक्टली द सेम ठीक है दैट साइड एक्सप्लेन यू आंसर बिकॉज इट्स वन प्रोमीन दैट साइड या उसमें एक्सप्लेन में यह कहना है कि ब्रोमीन आइसोटोप्स एंड एटी वन have equal abundance or equal chances theek hai clear hai yes sir to bas end mein ye ke ek do marks se zyada koi cheez wo puchne nahi wale aur jo bhi trend hai na wo ye ke organic question ke sath and they going to link it up theek hai so you can find the number of carbons bromines baaki organic ke reactions honge so so they'll they'll mix it up with an organic question theek hai Okay, so sir. Sir, I had a question. Haan, uh, do you have any resources for the titration curves? Because the questions for them are in the recent papers. Haan, titration curves. Um, uh, ek simple question. <coughs> ek video is definitely titration curves. Ki um. Uh, एक सेकंड फ्रॉम सर्च करो ओके टाइट्रेशन कर्व एक सेकेंड भी अच्छा वीडियो तो मुझे मिल गई है बस उस ओवरऑल उसके बारे में ये ये है कि टाइट्रेशन कर्व्स में ना मैं यहीं पे एक्सप्लेन कर देता हूँ दस नॉट दस नथिंग टू इट एक्सेप्ट के बल्कि मैं वीडियो सेंड कर देता हूँ आपको ठीक है ओके सर उसमें डिटेल इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है पीएच किस तरह कैलकुलेट होता है वो सब इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है मतलब बेसिक आइडिया पता है कि द बेसिक आइडिया इज दैट इफ यू हैव अ इफ यू हैव अ बीकर सो यू फ्लास्क ओवर हेयर एंड स्कॉट एनीवेज एंड यू आर एडिंग एच सी एल फ्रॉम द टॉप राइट यस सर तो मुझे ये बताओ कि So here you are plotting the volume of HCl that you are adding, right? Or this side for the pH. What is the initial pH of the flask? It would be alkaline. Okay, it's going to be strongly alkaline. Okay, it's strong base. Okay, you should be able to identify whether it's a strong base or not. Okay, so somewhere it's going to be somewhere around thirteen, like really high. Okay, you're not supposed to calculate it. It's just going to be a rough sketch. Okay, you don't know how to calculate it. 
होगा approximately 7 hoga right 7 yes sir acha so the nh which is gone okay water ban gaya salt and water now if you keep on adding hcl even after this point so you're continuing to add hcl right to kya ho jayega niche phir acid excess pe chala gaya hcl excess right it's got nothing to react with so what would that make the solution it would make it strongly acidic right yes sir So, three points. So, your initial pH. What, what do you think is your initial pH? Whether it's strongly basic or weakly basic. If weakly basic, what are the points for the check? Are the three? Okay. What's going to be when you add it, add the acid in excess? So, it's going to be strongly acidic, right? And here, where can that equivalence be? That equivalence, that point, how much volume of equivalence will be? You can find that out using moles. I mean, a simple example. So, let's say NOH. I have had 20 cm cube. Point one mole per cm cube, right? And from the top, I'm adding uh, 60 cm cube of uh, 0.08 mole per cm cube. So, how much will HCl be equivalent? So, will NaOH and HCl react in what? One ratio one. Yes, sir. So, how much NaOH do we have at the bottom? We've got two times 10 per minus three moles, right? Yes, sir. 20 times 0.1 divided by thousand, right? So, HCl will be equivalent. How much will it be? इक्विवेलेंस के लिए न्यूट्रलाइजेशन के लिए दैट्स गोइंग टू बी एग्जैक्टली द सेम 2 टाइम्स 10 फॉर माइनस 3 मोल साइड यस सर तो अब वॉल्यूम निकाल लो व्हाट इज सो 2 टाइम्स 10 फॉर माइनस 3 मोल्स इज कंसंट्रेशन टाइम्स 0.08 मोल पर डीएम क्यूब टाइम्स वॉल्यूम ठीक है वॉल्यूम निकल आएगा दैट्स गोइंग टू बी 2 टाइम्स 10 फॉर माइनस 3 डिवाइड बाय व्हाट 0.08 कितना आ रहा है सर दिस इज 0.025 सर दैट्स गोइंग जो जो कि 25 सीएम क्यूब बनता है दैट्स इन डीएम क्यूब राइट यस सर तो इसका मतलब है कि जो एचसीएल आप ऐड कर रहे थे ना इस एक्सेस पर वॉल्यूम ऑफ एचसीएल एट 25 सीएम क्यूब इट्स गोइंग टू बी द एनओएच इज गोइंग टू गेट न्यूट्रलाइज्ड ठीक है तो ये इक्विवेलेंस पॉइंट फाइंड आउट करने के लिए ना यू वुड हैव टू डू अ बिट ऑफ सम मोल्स कैलकुलेशन के भाई बिकॉज़ ऑब्वियसली 60 सीएम क्यूब इज इन एक्सेस यानी कितना एक्सेस पर डाल दिया 20 लाइक like 35 इज इन एक्सेस राइट Because in total you are mm-hmm. adding how much you are adding sixty cm cube, right? So twenty five cube, but it would have neutralized. So, so this to calculate, can I get? You would have to do some moles calculations. Now the shape okay. of your curve, okay? One last thing is the shape of the curve. It's always an S-shaped curve. Most of the pH changes happen around the equivalence point. उसके बाद थोड़ी सी होती है थोड़ी सी कर्व बना लो तो तो इट्स ऑलवेज एन एस शेप कर्व पीएच चेंजेस यूजुअली हैपन अराउंड द न्यूट्रलाइजेशन पॉइंट ठीक है ओके सर क्योंकि उससे पहले वो बेसिक था उसके बाद वो एकदम से एसिडिक हो गया ठीक है तो इट्स ऑलवेज एन एस शेप कर्व सो ऑलवेज मेक एन एस शेप कर्व विद A strong vertical. Um, this is going to be a, around the equivalence. It's going to be strongly vertical. Okay, we get them to change. Okay, just see, we neutralize. Okay, it goes to seven. Then it goes when it goes in excess. It goes to the other side. Okay. So yeah. So, but us me, but see, if you are thinking if it had been a weak asset, so the pH would not have been curved. Thought it's in the upper. Okay, is that clear? Yes, sir. If it had been a weak base, so your starting point would have been slightly lesser, right? It would have been like this, and it could be the other way around as well. The HCl could have been at the bottom, and the NaOH could be at the top. So curve for ulti banti ke start when it would have been strongly acidic, and then it would have gotten neutralized at a certain point. Then it would have gotten basic, right? So it would be just an inverted version of the same curve. Okay, clear? Okay. Yes, sir. बाकी मैं वीडियो भेज देता हूँ उसमें डिटेल में ठीक है ओके थैंक यू सो मच सर ओके हाफिज